Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we are deciding um, what camera, or rather I have decided, but you don't know that yet. What camera did I choose between the Sony FX4 and the Sony FX3 and the brand new Sony FX30. Okay, I need one of these and I'm gonna walk you through my process how I came to decide what is it I'm going for. Ready? Alright, if you're here for the first time, you're welcome. Now, first of all, if you've been on this channel, you know that I'm a generally a black magic guy. From the Pocket 4K to the 6K to the 6K Pro, and right now I rock with the Ursa 12K Pro. So I have the A7 IV and that's what I'm recording on. It's been good, I've been loving it, but do I get the same camera now? things to think about is the fact that okay getting the same camera will make my picture profile settings and everything go perfectly great with the price of the fx30 you got to think right <laughs> you have to think like are you sure this is the best route to go like you know maybe the fx30 is, is the way to go um as the big camera to the a74 you know with the spec from this camera you know having 10 bit um having less crop than the a74 having the time code the only difference between the fx30 and the fx3 is APS-C and full frame okay well that's not the only difference but that's the major difference um almost everything in fact the aa <laughs> in fact the sony fs30 has some new features that the FS3 doesn't have. Another downside for the A74 is that um, it's got that uh, rolling shutter issue. The less movement, the better your shots. Uh, so that's the my major downside for um, the A74. And I'm not trading it. I'm not letting it go. It's staying. I'm to, I'm looking for the camera to um, to come in as the. B camera or A camera, depending on how you want it. The FX6 will be great, but that's a lot of money. Um, so let's look at the FS3. It's it's lovely, you know. But the price, it's a lot higher than this one. Actually, double the FX30. Um, but um, the major advantage over that over the FX30 will be the um, rolling shutter that is minimal in the FX3. Um, of course, the A74 is the same dynamic range as the FX3, so we're good on that, which is one of my most valued uh, assets on any of any camera, which is uh, dynamic range. So um, we're good on that. But while this um, FX30 is 14 stops. It still delivers, you know, I mean, according to the reviews I've seen, which you can't go wrong with actually with any of these ones. So um, I have to decide what to, to get. I knew I needed something to compensate for that rolling shutter. AP, well, APS-C, the only APS-C lens that I had, 18 to 105, is the, is the kit lens that came with the Sony FX5. Okay, Mark II back then when I had it, that I sold along with the camera FS5. So I don't even have a, I don't even have a, an APS-C lens. If I, if I pick on the FS30, I would need some of those. And these lenses cannot interchange. In other words, well, they can, you can use APS-C on, the F, um, A74, but the benefits will not be maximized in my opinion. I took you through the journey just to 
just to let you know my thought process so that you can, you know, I don't want to teach you, I don't want to tell you what to think, I just want to tell you how to think so that you can evaluate your situation and decide what's best for you. All right, so um, I had to just uh, brace myself up and suck it up. And I went for the FS33, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, it's the FS3, the newly Netflix approved camera, which means absolutely nothing to, to most people, including me. I mean, the FS6 would have been ideal, but I didn't want to go that far. This would not uh, look bad in any way, in any way, uh, both rolling shoulder and the fact that we have uh, 120 in here, a 4K 120 frames per second. Um, that is going to be needed. Otherwise, I will have to depend on um, the Ursa 12K, which is 8K 120, which is extremely lovely. But then again, I have to be merging uh, pictures. And most of the time, like I showed in the previous video, the Sony's are sharp, a lot sharper than um, and than the Ursa. And then, then, then lens is also lenses are not as readily available well high speed lenses i would say you know so i'm always having that cooler dull vibes i'd rather have a camera to be sharp and then dull it down with um, filters you know to look more cinematic way better to go that way especially for commercial job okay so uh that's why i went with the um sony fx3 and now the FS30 cannot, you can't really go wrong with the FS30. I went with this guy, it's got the XLR port, even though the, the other camera has too. If you go for about um, 2100, I think, um, you could get the XLR top handle. It, uh, for 1008, you get the body of the FX30. So that's a good deal. It's a good deal. It's tempting, you know. If I. Uh, if I ever need a third Sony camera, that's definitely what I would go for. Best value hybrid camera would probably be that now over this A7 IV. I also like the fact that um, my choice, I'll, I'll keep the full frame family. And uh, for now, this is what I got for the second camera and I'm gonna throw it on it and get it, you know, to, to take another angle shot right now is the Rokunon 85 1.4. I'm using the um, Sony 35 1.4 G Master Lens on this one. So I wanna see how well this guy does as well. So I'm gonna set it up while unboxing in progress. All right. Okay. So let's uh, get this guy ready. Oh, by the way, I got this grip that comes with a remote on it. And that's what I, I used to start stop the camera. Um, it will work with any of the Sony cameras. That's a good one. Uh, from small rig, very, very, very good. It got, it's got feet to stand on. Let me see if I can open it. It's got fit to stand on, and um, and then you can punch the remote while vlogging. If you want to vlog with it, you can punch the remote. I do. I probably not do a review, but it, I'll put the links in the description. It's it's worth picking up. I, I mean, I've been loving it for a while now. Okay. All right. So um, let's get the lens on. Line it up. Now it's covered, so I can, there we go, twist. And we have the, um, we got the 85, 1.4 uh, here. That's the lens, pretty nice. Um, I will be getting one more zoom. I just get one more zoom, which is probably the 24 to 70, 2.8. And I'll be done with this setup. I don't have to, 
do anything else. I have um, anything further than that, like a 50 to 200, um, 250 or stuff like that. I have other Canon lenses or EF lenses that I can adapt here and get it. I don't have to spend the extra money because Let's, uh, I'm going to mount that guy. <clears throat> All right, um, so I think, uh, woo. yeah, this is what I want. Um, I'm loving what I'm seeing, hopefully. You let me know what you think. Um, the A7 IV and the Sony FX3. How we loving, how you find it, what do you think? And the picture profile should be fine. Although I haven't finished setting the FX3 because it's quite different from this one, I had to go with the beginner setup, okay? I haven't really gone into the menu and set it up as, yeah, so I'm not sure what profile I'm recording. I'll probably write it on the screen. I know this is uh, s slot 3 so I guess this is officially going to be a Sony channel now. Um, Blackmagic, you know, continue, but uh, I think they need to do something. At 1008 for the body, for the uh, FX30, with the features that it has, it's hard to be looking, especially for newcomers, especially for young filmmakers, like right now, jobs I'm trying to get are jobs that I want to knock off a loan or probably with one more person that is not trying to pull focus for me but someone that's trying to that's helping with maybe audio or light or just moving things around just to help really you know uh, also I want to apologize for the silence it's been hectic I've been busy uh, with the company website set up you know LLC um, it will affect the YouTube channel only for this period once everything is running successfully I'll be able to manage my time and then do everything accordingly but right now it's like you gotta just get it give it what it deserves to run you know because um, uh, but it's taking time and it should if you want it to come out properly but I'm almost wrapping up now so as soon as I do it will, it will get back to, you know, two contests a week, you know, probably. Yeah, that's been it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you're going for. You know, which of these choices are you going for? Is it your A camera or your B camera you're looking for? And um, let me know if this helps you decide. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.